would it really be a vlog from me if I didn't spend at least part of it looking slightly dishevelled sat on my bed? Hello everyone, my name's Chloe, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here today. This is, well it's not actually day one, it's day so minus one, but it is almost day one of the whatever you want a fun or whatever a fun, which is a month long read a fun, which is hosted by Maddie from Book Browsing Blog. And basically, the idea is everyone's on a team. You all sort of pledge how many books you want to read for the month. There are challenges to complete in order to get points, and the team with the most points wins. But basically, you can literally read whatever you want. You can read within the drama of the team that you are playing for but and that will get you extra points but you can also choose to read something completely different and just sort of fulfill prompts of it instead it's completely up to you i am on camp contemporary i've already done a tbr talking about what i plan to read i do plan on reading all contemporary and the reason why i'm starting this vlog a day early is that you can sort of start books and then carry them into june i finished the last sort of book that i was planning to read for may yesterday and I thought, well, I might as well make a little bit of a head start on sort of my June reading today because I knew that I wasn't really going to read very much. I've been to the cinema today, so I've been out of the house a lot. But I have managed to read about 25 pages so far and then hopefully a little bit more before I go to sleep of Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I really love the colour of this underneath the dust jacket. The dust jacket's on my shelf. I can't bother to get it at the minute. But basically this is tells the story of four siblings who are the children of a famous singer and they've sort of grown up spent their life in Malibu and from what I can tell there's going to be a big party that they have every year and by the end of the night the house that the party is at is going to burn down not quite sure how that happens I think that's pretty much what the mystery is of this but I'm very excited to read this I really love Daisy Jones and the Six and Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo so which are the only two novels i've read, read by this author before so yeah really excited to read this and it's a nice sort of start to the month i am probably not going to update you again tonight i just wanted to let you guys know my reading plans this is going to be a weekly reading vlog i'm hoping to do sort of weekly vlogs throughout the entire month i will say that i am working sort of monday to friday today is monday but it's bank holiday so that's why i haven't been working today as i've been at the cinema but i am working monday to friday and my work life just got a lot more hectic than it has been so i might be a little bit quiet these will probably just be like quick check-ins there has also been times recently where i've not read at all during the weekdays i'm hoping that i will actually read a little bit this time because part of the reason why I'm reading contemporaries as well because I'm more likely to pick those up. I'm also going to try and get some audiobooks in there. So yeah, I'm really going to try and read throughout the entire week but if not then I'll definitely pick it up more on the weekends. And yeah, that is basically all I have to say at the minute. Let's go and win some points for Camp Contemporary. So I did warn you guys that was probably going to be a bit rubbish at vlogging this week. It is now Wednesday. I keep getting the days of the week confused because it was a bank holiday so it feels like it's Tuesday but it's not it's Wednesday and I did not film anything yesterday at all um but I did read I got to about page I got to about page 100 in Malibu Rising I'm actually really liking it so far it's it feels like nothing's really happened but that's not a bad thing because I just really like Taylor Jenkins read writing. I'll do sort of more coherent thoughts later. I just wanted to check in and let you know I'm basically I'm about to jump in the shower and then I'm going to cozy up for the evening and hopefully try and read a little bit more. I also got some book mail today. Sorry for the light. Every time I bend down I get blinded. I also got some book mail today. I got Instructions for Dancing by Nicola Yoon. I'm very much excited to read this one. I loved everything, everything. I think the first time I read that it was not long after it came out and I read it all in one sitting. I think it was one of the first times I'd done that. And then The Sun Is Also A Star is one of my favourites. I really enjoyed that book. So I have high hopes for this one. I feel like it's one that I haven't heard too much about. Like there just hasn't been that much hype about it. But I'm hoping it's good. It's very short, so it should be a quick read. I might pick it up this month. The only thing is, is that I am trying to read all queer contemporary fiction this month, and I don't believe this is queer, but 
um i still might end up picking it up just for something extra to add in maybe more towards the end of the month once i've read everything that's on my tbr but yeah that is the update so far so like i said i'm gonna go and jump in the shower and then i will let you guys know a little bit later on with how i'm feeling with malibu rising <laughs> promised to give you guys an update last night and then never did because I read 15 pages and then fell asleep which to be honest was much needed but I yeah didn't really have much to update you on I know I said I'd give you actual thoughts on the book and I am going to do that now um, but I am 115 pages into this now I am watching Thursday night should explain that and um, I am watching the sprints that are happening right now on Ro Wandering Through Worlds channel and yeah it's the first sprint I haven't actually started reading yet because I was baffing my dog because he's having a haircut tomorrow so he needs to be nice and clean um but yeah so my plan is there's like three minutes left in this sprint so I'm just sort of relaxing at the minute and then I'm gonna start reading in the next one I, like I said, I'm just over 100 pages into this. I am enjoying it so far. I definitely sort of fallen back into Taylor Jenkins' read writing style straight away. There's not a lot happening so far. So basically it tells the story of, I think I might have explained this earlier on, but it tells the story of a family of four siblings and they all have, their dad was a famous singer who is actually one of the husbands from Seven Husbands of Rebel and Hugo. That's how it links to her other work. And so most of the story is told in 1983 where there's this big party happening they have a party every year and it's become known as sort of the Hollywood party to be at and there's this big party happening and they've all sort of got secrets from each other that I assume are going to come out at some point during this party but it's all told during one day so every sort of chapter is an hour so it's been 7am 8am I think I'm about midday now so so far not a lot has happened because we haven't got anywhere near the party yet but what has happened is the other section of it is sort of told in the past and it's all flashbacks to their parents and how they got together and sort of how the kids were then born and um, leading up to them growing up. So it's sort of how they got to the place that they're at now and how the family got to that place. And that bit's been really interesting because that bit is reminding me of Evelyn Hugo a little bit. Um, it's this sort of nice Hollywood love story and, well... Hollywood love and drama story but yeah I'm like I said I'm enjoying it so far but not a lot has happened I don't think it's going to be one where massive things happen though I was saying to um speaking to my mum yesterday because she's read both Evelyn Hugo and Daisy Jones and the Six and said that Daisy Jones and the Six is a bit different because it's told in an interview format but when you think about Evelyn Hugo there's although a lot happens because she has obviously seven husbands quite a lot happens with that there's not sort of anything the there's not like big wowing moments there's probably there's a couple that are quite dramatic but a lot of it's just quite simple and it's just about her life and that's kind of what this is as well which is i'm enjoying that so yeah those are my thoughts so far i am going to go now because we have 40 seconds left of this room so I'm going to disappear so I can hear what they are chatting about. And yeah, I'm going to try and read. Oh, you should have seen actually earlier. I went into a bookshop today and I filmed a couple of clips from there. But it was so awkward to try and film because it wasn't busy. But like everywhere I wanted to film, there was someone there. I actually didn't buy anything. So I don't have any book mail to show you, which is very upsetting. Like I've been in Watsons a few times in the last week. I keep going in because I always have time to waste before my bus. Um, So I think, well while I'm here I might as well go in Waterstones and yeah just never buying anything which is quite upsetting really although I have got I just had a shipping notification for um Verona Comics which if you watched my latest TBR you will see me buying that so hopefully that's going to come soon right they're actually about to start talking so I'm going to go we're going to ignore the glare on the camera because I can't bother to move to get rid of it but basically it's Saturday morning now I didn't update yesterday I didn't read anything yesterday Fridays are always a bit hit and miss I've either I read tons or I get home from work and I'm just so tired that I crash and then pick it up on Saturday which is what I'm doing today so 
I am currently at about page 215, I think, of Malibu Rising, which means I have about 150 pages left. I'm really enjoying this so far. It's, I think the synopsis makes it sound like it's going to be more at this party and more like a wild time. The party hasn't even started yet, but it's literally just started, like, about 20 pages ago. Most of it has been sort of just finding out who this family is and how they got to this point. And there's a lot more to it than I expected in terms of, again, the synopsis makes it sound like there's sort of just this spoiled family and all this, and it's actually not. It's about sort of the fact that they, it's about a family that like almost had that kind of, um, and then, but they actually had a really tough time. And it's been really interesting to read all that. Um, yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this. Like I think I've said already, I just really enjoy Taylor Jenkins Reid's writing style. And this will be the third book I've read from her now. And I've loved all three of them. So I'll, um, I'm going to hopefully finish this today. I will let you know sort of my final thoughts later on. I don't really have much else planned today other than reading this. So I will possibly be able to start something else as well but I will catch up with you guys later and let you know if you can hear random little noise in the background by the way my dog is in the other room the doors are all open but my dad's just left the house to go on and buy pride and he is freaking out a little bit because he doesn't like it when my dad leaves him so um I don't know what he's doing in there but he's pacing around in the kitchen and he's just been groomed his nails are a little bit more exposed which means that he makes a scratchy little noise whenever he walks so yeah if you hear that in the background of any of these clips today you know why so i know i've said this a few times during this vlog but i have not been the best at updating um it is sunday i don't know if i filmed anything yesterday i definitely filmed something on friday but i have since i last booked you i have I can pick up the book. Finish Malibu Rising. I gave this five stars, which is really good because this was actually in my five star predictions video. I really, really enjoyed this one. It's, I feel like the synopsis for it made it sound like it was going to be a lot more action packed than it actually was, but it was actually more just an exploration of this family and sort of shared grief as well. And I actually, that's kind of what I really enjoyed about it. I enjoyed sort of the quieter moments of it and the characters. And as I've said before, Taylor Jenkins' read writing style is just very much right up my alley. So yeah, I think I kind of said what I've been feeling about it going along, but I did genuinely really, really enjoy this one. So I'm very happy that it is a five star so far. I've read one of the five star predictions and it was. So we're doing well so far, one out of one. But um, we'll see how it goes because I am reading another few or planning to read another few of my five star predictions during this month. And I have started something new, but I don't have it with me at the minute. I started Verona Comics by Jennifer Duggan. I am reading this one. It was on my TBR for booktube recommendation which was both one of my tbr game prompts but also um something for the whatever of fun prompts as well so i'm reading this because it is maddie from book browsing blogs when it's one of her favorite books and yeah i'm really really enjoying that so far as well i'm about 150 pages in so i read 50 pages yesterday after i finished malibu rising and then i've read another 100 this morning so far it's a very quick read it's different again different than i expected i'd always heard it was a romeo and juliet retelling but so far it seems to be more of a you've got mail type situation if any of you've seen that film um because it's not though it is about sort of so i don't know if i've actually said the premise of this one in any video but basically it is about the son and daughter of two rival um comic book companies so one's an independent company and one is more of a big sort of conglomerate that's trying to take over everything and they meet at a comic book convention start a unlikely relationship but what is happening now is i thought it was just about sort of them two wanting to be together and their families hating each other but actually there's this whole situation where one of them doesn't is sort of meeting the other one and they don't know that they're both meeting each other it's interesting anyway i will 
probably leave that there and i will give you more in-depth thoughts later so yeah actually one more thing i got a um because i feel like i've not really done much in this vlog but i thought i would show you something that arrived this week i've already opened it so it's not quite an unboxing but it is a parcel that arrived for me the other day it's got my name on it i have a lot of prints on the wall behind me as you may be able to see and i love them all but a couple of my particular favorites are this one right here which is a taylor swift folklore one and then this one over here which is little women so those two i will try and i don't know if i can turn the camera on i'll try and film like closer up pictures of those later but those two are by a company called spilt milk press we can find on etsy and i yeah just very very much enjoy her art style and i've been collecting a couple and i've talked about how much i love musicals on here so i thought i'd show you my newest sort of acquisition from there which is this absolute beauty which is moulin rouge so it's the greatest thing you'll ever learn is just to love and be loved in return and beautiful picture of city in the sparkling diamond moulin rouge is my favorite film ever like just I adore it so so much I was supposed to go and see it on Broadway for my birthday last year and then obviously that got cancelled and I now have tickets to go and see it on the West End in London on January I think, I think it's in January um but I'm very very excited to go and see it and yes I just adore this print I really like I said I really love her art style so I'm happy to have that one in my collection and I thought I'd just share with you guys because it's always nice to share sort of smaller creators and i will link her shop down below if any of you guys are interested in that literally nothing like nobody's telling me to say this i just really really like her work so i thought i'd share it right i'm gonna go and read i'll catch up with you guys later close-ups of the artwork i was telling you about earlier so this is the little women one that i have and then over here we have a Taylor Swift football one. It just, like I said, I just really like the art style. So, yeah, thought I'd show it. So I actually planned on finishing this vlog yesterday, but then I never actually filmed a sort of ending clip. And it is now Monday evening, and I've been on sprints. Um, God, look at the state of my hair. Look at the state in general, to be honest, but we're going to ignore that. Um, okay, we're just going to leave it as it is. Um, I've been on Steph's Patreon sprints for the last couple of hours and that has allowed me to finish Verona Comics by Jennifer Duggan. I've literally just finished it, just its second. I think I'm giving this four stars, four, four and a half. It's not quite a five, but it was very, very good. It was different than I expected it to be. So as I kind of said, it's like a Romeo and Juliet retelling. It's about two kids whose parents run rival comic book shops. And that's kind of, that sounds quite fluffy, quite sort of, yeah, just YA contemporary. You expect it to be fairly fluffy and romantic and cute. There, there are moments of that, but that's not what it's about. It's actually a lot about, I mean, the, if I just read the, not the full synopsis of the back, because that's long. The last sort of section says, what if love can't conquer all? And what if each of them needs more than the other can give? And that's kind of what it's about. It's about... <sighs> not a completely toxic relationship but not really a healthy relationship either like about sort of two people who love who, two people who very much like each other and possibly even love each other but aren't necessarily the best thing for each other in that particular moment i will say trigger warnings for um mental health talk and particularly panic attacks and anxiety in here uh, there is also mention of attempted suicide so i yeah i do just want to talk about that because i didn't know about that going into it and i think i would have very much liked to have heard about that because particularly some of the ways that the panic attacks are actually because the panic attacks in particular are portrayed sort of in real time so some of that could be a little bit triggering if you aren't in the best place. There was times when I was reading this where it was just a little bit too realistic for me. I managed to power through it. Um, I don't know if that's part of the reason why it was a four star rather than a five. I don't know if you just made me feel a little bit too uncomfortable in how good the portrayal was. I know that's weird, but, you know, and there's just sort of the, if you read, I'm going to put that down. You know, if you just sort of read something at the wrong time, it can change how you feel a little bit. But 
overall very very much enjoyed it looking forward to reading more from jennifer duggan she has two other books so she has hot dog girl which hot dog girl all the um sort of blurbs for it talk about how funny it is so i'm hoping that's a little bit happier and then some girls do which is a new one which just came out so i will hopefully pick both of those up soon um but yeah i'm gonna sort of wrap up Ooh, somebody's got a motorbike outside anyway i'm gonna sort of wrap up the vlog here i thought it was actually a nice thing to go into monday a little bit because this means it has been seven days now we are on the 7th of june which means seven days into the readathon i so far have completed two books i don't know how many points i'm on for my team because i haven't put it in the spreadsheet yet but i finished two books both of them were contemporary so that's good i enjoyed both of them one was five stars one was four um, the first one being Malibu Rising, which you'll have already seen earlier in this video, but yeah, Malibu Rising and then Verona Comics. I do have my next book picked out. I'm probably going to start it tonight, but I'll talk to you guys about it more tomorrow, which will be next week's vlog. And that is going to be Me, My Dad and the End of the Rainbow. I'm very excited about this one and also I feel like... So I'm... I don't... I haven't... So I haven't sort of mentioned this yet, I don't think, but basically this week is my last week at work and then I have a week's on holiday. So next week I plan on reading things that maybe might be a little bit harder to read because I'll have more time to do it. Not that anything's particularly hard to read this month, I'm reading all contemporary. But yeah, next week I plan on reading sort of chunkier or just stuff that maybe maybe even stuff that I think I'll just want to sit and read in one sitting. Um, I thought I'd pick up this one for sort of after work read this week because with it being middle grade, it might be quite easy just to fly through. I'm assuming they're, yeah, the writing's fairly big on. There's not that much writing on the page and it's fairly big, so it should be a pretty easy, quick read. And yeah, I'm very excited about this one. I've heard nothing but good things about it. It's a middle grade monthly pick of the month, so it's another reason why I wanted to pick it up. And yeah, I'll be starting this one next. I, don't, I just said I wasn't talking about this one and I'm talking about it. I'm going to put it down. I will talk to you about sort of the story, the premise of it and I've been properly in tomorrow's video. But that is it for this week. Thank you for joining me for whatever a fun week one. I know it hasn't necessarily been the most interesting vlog. Um, in next week's vlog, I, like I said, I'm at work for the next sort of four days. But then I'm off after that. So maybe I'll actually be able to do something interesting. I don't know. I don't really know what my plans are, to be honest. I'm just, I need a break. That's all I know. Um, but yeah, I am going to go. There is eight minutes left of this sprint. So I might be able to start reading a little bit of that before. I think it's only 10 o'clock now. So there's probably a couple more sprints left. Maybe at least one. But we'll see how it goes. Right. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff down below. Please uh, tell me how your whatever fun is going so far. We're in week one. So we're at the end of week one. How many books have you managed to read so far? Are you all killing it a lot more than I am? Because it seems like the F1 is in the comments. But, you know, I'm holding out my hope for the week off. Right. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all with the next weekly vlog next week. And also there'll be some sort of video up on Saturday. But I haven't quite decided what yet. Right. Talk to you guys soon. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.